welcome to Gen 24's painting table. Today I'm going to be covering brass rods. And this, this tutorial can easily be converted over to aluminum, bronze, or pretty much any other soft metal that you're going to be using for, uh, for pinning or any of that type of stuff. Basically they're available in multiple sizes, 3 eighths of an inch, 1 16th. Um, you can get them in a solid state solid core like this one, which is what I use primarily for pinning, or you can get hollow, which is what I use for piping, or I, uh, you can make a really neat hydraulic cylinder. You also have multiple sizes of rounds, so you can actually put a hollow in a hollow, you can make multiple tier stacked uh, hydraulic cylinders that way as well. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do is, right here we have three separate sizes, two hollow, one solid core. I'm going to go over the pluses and minuses of the uh, using them and a couple safe, a couple neat little hints. You know, whenever you're dealing with uh, solid, pretty much all you have to do is figure out how much you want. I always find it easier to make a couple small cuts by putting pressure and twisting. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a little bit smoother of a cut. Also, it makes it less likely for the what you're cutting. Like this would be a good pin for a model. Maybe something a little bit smaller. It makes it so you have a nice, even, smooth cut, and it also makes it where that piece doesn't go flying off. Now, like I said earlier, you can take this small piece, apply it into the larger piece, and you have yourself a neat little hydraulic cylinder. All right, now dealing with the hollow. One of the problems you have is when, it, since it has no basis inside, when you go to cut it, it crimps. A couple different ways you can uh, solve that issue. When dealing with a hollow tube, you can go really slow with your crimps and make a scour mark all the way around it. As you're rotating, you apply pressure, kind of like what you do with the solid except don't put as much pressure. And eventually you're going to wear yourself through the brass. And it's, a, it's a long process. Eventually you work your way through the brass and you'll have a relatively neat cut. Still a little jagged and it's definitely did collapse the brass in a little bit. So you're going to end up having to score it out a little bit. And you'd use like the end of your flat cuts. But that's one way. But the other way you can act, you can do that is you can take your solid core rod and insert it inside the hollow. Now what that does, it adds stability to the tube itself. So you can actually, you're still gonna have to do it pretty much the same way, but you can add a little more pressure to it, a little more oomph. Now be careful that you don't go cutting through and damage the solid rod, unless that's what your purpose is. Like this is a good way to cut a uh, hydraulic cylinder to the same length. Just insert the solid and then cut the, cut the end off and you have two pieces that are the same length. So you have a good little uh, hydraulic cylinder going there. That basically same same deal. Just cut till you make it through. You should feel like a little give and you'll have yourself a little cut. Like I said that's another way of doing it. Now a lot of places actually make little tools for this too. Here is the KNS Hobby Rod Cutter. Now it's basically the same tool that professional pipe cutters use, just in a smaller plastic version. It costs about I picked this up for seven bucks over at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you could probably go to Micro Mart and find it a little cheaper. Basically, all you do is insert the pipe where it's cradled and then lower it until the blade is on there and you just take it and you twist this. When it starts getting loose, you twist again, tighten it, and keep rotating. What's happening is you're forcing that blade down onto the pipe and every time you force it down a little bit more, it's basically just making a nice smooth cut. Kind of what we are doing, except it's very precise. The cut will be very, very clean with minimal warpage to the pipe. So it should still retain its round shape. It does. It is a little bit time consuming, but in the long run, whenever you're trying to make 
really clean cuts, it's worth it. Same concept goes for the largers. I've noticed that it does not, it will not cut this small, the solid core. So when it comes to that, you're still gonna have to use the, uh, the crimps, but it's pretty easy to cut. So this is a Gen 24's painting table with a quick tutorial on brass rods and how to cut them.